This presentation will introduce you to prime mathematics and the core teaching learning approaches used in it. Prime mathematics is based on a collaboration between Scholastic and the Ministry of Education in Singapore. It also takes into account the approaches used in South Korea and Hong Kong as the other two top performing nations in primary mathematics. So, what effective teaching learning practices do the top performing nations use? Firstly, problem solving is central. In prime, problem solving is both a goal of learning and a tool for applying it. Students are taught to solve four types of problems. Routine problems, identified in prime as word problems, require students to apply their mathematical skills, concepts and processes. The second type of problem are non-routine problems or mind stretches. They provide opportunities for students to apply their mathematical knowledge to unusual or more complex problems and so help students develop higher order thinking skills. Students also create their own problems. Create your own activities in the course book provide opportunities for children to construct their own problems within guidelines provided. The fourth type of problem solving is mathematical modelling. Real world open ended investigations. These are introduced from Prime 4 onwards at the end of each course book. In Prime, students are explicitly taught the problem solving process. There are four steps. Understanding the problem, planning how to solve it, finding the answer and checking the answer. These four steps are based on Polya's problem solving process. Also explicitly taught is a range of problem solving strategies or heuristics. The strategies are part of the second step in the problem solving process and students are systematically exposed to a wide range of them. The bar model method is a problem solving strategy developed in Singapore. It is a pictorial strategy that uses bars to represent number relationships. It is used extensively in Prime from Year 2 to Year 6. So in Prime, problem solving is central, teaches four types of problems and the process and strategies. Another core pedagogy in Prime is the development of metacognition and explicit modelling of mathematical thinking. Mathematical meta-language is clearly highlighted in bold text and mathematical thinking is clearly modelled through the use of speech and thought bubbles. As well as modelling mathematical thinking for concept development, it is also used in problem solving. Prime also uses think about it activities to generate mathematical thinking and discussion. Metacognition and mathematical thinking are expectations of students using Prime. They need to be conscious of their thinking and expected to explain it. The concrete pictorial abstract approach is critical to concept development in Prime by making explicit links between learning experiences. The lessons in the course book provide a model of concept development and the three steps of the concrete pictorial abstract approach are clearly identified. MathLab for hands-on concrete experiences, PictureIt for pictorial representation and Symbols for the abstract notation. The immediate and explicit link from concrete to pictorial then abstract experiences is critical to the effectiveness of concept development in Prime. 
and provides a highly effective and scaffolded approach. In Prime, the process of learning mathematics is based on a consistent instructional design using a spiral curriculum that results in deep conceptual development. The process of learning mathematics in Prime is similar to the approach used in Singapore. In Prime, the assessment of readiness or prerequisite understandings is done through Let's Remember in the course book. In this Let's Remember, before multiplication is introduced, students are assessed to ensure they can use repeated addition. Each concept in Let's Remember and where it is taught is clearly identified in the teacher's guide. The implementation guide has even more detail about where concepts are taught in Prime in case teachers need to reteach them. For new learning, students are actively engaged through Let's Learn for new concept development and Let's Do for guided learning and formative assessment. For multiplication, students first learn to count the number of items in equal groups, then to use repeated addition. In Let's Do, the activities are designed to guide students as they demonstrate their new understandings. There are several places in Prime where students demonstrate their mastery. The practice book is used for students to demonstrate mastery and for formative assessment. The exercises are identified at the end of Let's Do. The exercises are for students to demonstrate their mastery of new concept development, but also are differentiated, so they scaffold from one to another. Practice activities at the end of each prime lesson are summative assessment. They assess the concepts that were taught in the lesson. In the practice book, there are also reviews. These are used for revision and summative assessment of multiple concepts. Prime uses a spiral curriculum and treats mathematical topics in depth. The topics are colour coded by mathematical strand. They are carefully sequenced so that the learning is scaffolded one topic upon another. The concepts are also carefully scaffolded by lesson within a chapter. Because of this in-depth treatment of concepts, many topics go beyond the equivalent year levels of the Australian curriculum. So the process of learning mathematics in Prime is based on deep concept development using careful scaffolding of a spiral curriculum and consistent lesson structure. In Prime, assessment is continuous. It includes both formative and summative assessment. Prime formative assessment begins with Let's Remember, which assesses prerequisites for new learning in the course book. Let's Do in the course book assesses new concept development and the exercises in the practice book assess mastery of concepts. For summative assessment the practice section in the course book assesses the concepts just taught in a prime lesson and the reviews in the practice book revise and assess multiple concepts across several topics periodically. There is also assessment available to the Australian curriculum. This is supplementary material and in it each item is directly tagged to a content description of the Australian curriculum. This presentation has given an overview of the five core teaching learning practices used in Prime.
To find out more about Prime, please contact us at Scholastic.